the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. Well, even after a tough loss to the Miami Heat last night, Lynn's sanity shows no sign of slowing down. In fact, one, pay, one fan paid more than $42,000 to spend five minutes with Lynn after a game earlier this week. Our Darren Ravel was there, and he has that story. It's, it's a fair amount of money for five minutes, Darren. Yeah, you know, I tried to come up with something, Carl, that could really put it in perspective. Every year we always talk about the lunch with Warren Buffett auction. Uh, with a two-hour lunch, the winning bidder pays about $21,917 a minute. Pam Schechter paid $42,388 for her husband Mitchell to spend five minutes with Jeremy Lin, which comes out to $8,478 per minute to meet with the star who's only played in 11 games so far, only started in 11 games. But Mitchell was thrilled. He watched Lin at the shoot around, met Walt Frazier in that hideous outfit, even took those shots, some of his shots himself, and was presented with the used jersey Lin wore during the Lakers game when he scored a career high 38 points. I identify with him, even though I'm not an athlete, even though, uh, you know, culturally I'm different, but I just, he's just every man wanting to, every man and woman trying to get ahead and to try and to beat the odds. Mitchell says he was literally obsessed with Lynn and his story. The auction benefited Madison Square Garden's Garden of Dreams Foundation and was conducted by Charity Buzz. And join me this evening at 7 p.m. Eastern Time on the NBC Sports Network for a special edition of CNBC Sports Biz, where we'll be talking the business of Jeremy Lynn with his agent, the Nike CEO, and we'll show you more of the feature on Mitchell Schechter. Carl? You know, uh, Darren, there's a school of thought out there this morning that maybe the smart move in terms of endorsements would be, would be to try to be the anti LeBron. Don't do Nike, right? Don't right. do Adidas. Do IBM. Uh, do vitamin water. Do something that leverages his Harvard education, too. Well, you, you, I spoke to a couple people in Beijing, a couple marketers in Beijing this morning, and they told me, don't count out the Harvard angle, because the Harvard angle, the value of education in China, and by the way, the Knicks announcing this morning that they've signed a deal with Taiwan-based tire company, Maxxis Tires. So here we go. <laughs> nice timing. Thanks, Darren. Okay. Uh, we'll count you down to the close in Europe after a short break.